and activity by Bobby, who's got to be punching. You're wondering if this big fight is too big for him at this stage of his career. It is all Mustafa Hanshaw, and it has nothing to do with the rolling, rolling style. He's getting in with clean shots on Trey. Bobby's not fighting. He's not punching in return, and Mustafa will eat you up if you don't punch back. Hamshaw also looking very confident, picking away on Chez. As well he should. I don't think he's landing this many clean shots on anybody in years. Good right hand by Hamshaw in the red truck. Chez in the white. Hamshaw able to land hooks and putting a lot of authority and power with that left hook. Good right hand. Chez continues to get hit. He's standing right in front of him without any motion or any desire to get away to either side, and that is all in Hamshaw's favor. We have passed the halfway mark, round four. Bobby Chez opening southpaw style, then switching to conventional, looking to bother Hamshaw. It had no effect at all. Hamshaw very patiently getting to Chez through rounds two and three, and well in front here in round four. If Bobby doesn't keep those gloves up, that left hook is going to keep cutting off the right side of his face. And Mustafa's devastating weapon is that left hook. He's almost owns the right side of Bobby's face. Doubling up on the right. Chez was very little impact though on those blows. The crowd came alive, but Chez had nothing going. Right hook coming in by Mustafa. Right hand by Chez. Hamshaw indicating that it had no effect as we come up to the end of round four. So Bobby Chez, who has been untested, looking to silence his critics here this evening, has a long way to go as we come to the end of the round. Chez before the fight began on the left, and Chez right now as we open up in round five. Is it that Chez is over his head? That we won't know, and that's what this fight's about. Could it be that he made the mistake of waiting patiently to come down the home stretch five through ten? If he did, what a mistake. They want, excuse, they want him to move. Lou Duva wants him to move to the left first, to the right first, not to stand in front of him, but his legs seem curiously like two chunks of ice. They don't look like they're moving Bobby Chez around. And Chez is back to the southpaw style, but Hampshire having no difficulty at all. Mustafa Hapsho in the red, 29 years old, from Latakia, Syria. Record of 34 and 2, one draw, 21 by knockout. One of the losses to the champion, Marvin Hagler. Hapsho had won 27 in a row before losing to Hagler. Oh, Bobby just leaping in. Uh, to smother Hamcho and they hit head. Hamcho's face, a great question as to whether he could take those stiff popping jabs of chest has not opened up. And on the other hand, Bobby Chez's face is getting very lumpy. Tony Ayala, the excellent junior middleweight who we may see later on, sitting at ring time, points out that Bobby is intimidated by all the rough stuff of Hamcho. And he better just let it all hang something out. Something happened. Something happened. He just got he just got a thumb in the eye. Hampshire just got a thumb in his eye. He can't see out of the right side of his eye. Hold on, Bobby. Hold on. Bobby, is, Bobby has been keeping an open glove with a thumb sticking out. That's the kind of uh, injury that causes you to be partially blinded during this round. And it's caused Hampshire to quit fighting. Hampshire trying to work it out. And he did get caught with the right hand. The left eye blinking away, tears coming down. Oh, Bobby working.
working with his head almost as fast. He gets a warning now. Hazard trying to keep control of this fight. I'm telling you both, said Larry Hazard, stop with the head. And following the uh, opening round assault by Hanshaw using the head and the elbow, he has been pure to this point. He doesn't need to be dirty. He's landing those punches right where he wants them, on the tip of his glove. So that's the end of round five. We'll be right back. Just, just bend a little. It, it, you're not working the body as much. That's why you're. Yeah, he he puts his head to the yeah. count. All right. Then, 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 sure. then go for the one two. A lot of pressure, yeah. right? a lot of pressure side to side. One two, one two. Like in the ring. Side to side. Patty Flood complaining about the uh, bump that Hampshire took in his right eye. But Patty very low key in the corner appears. But he feels uh, Hampshire has this fight well in combat. And here's Hampshire right out of Chez as Chez backpedals. We're underway. Round six, scheduled for ten. Chez just landed a good counter right hand as Mustafa got careless. There it is again. There it is again. Combination by Chez. Corner hollering, no switching, no switching. They're finally getting the message that you just cannot switch back and forth. Stay with what got you here. Since the first round, he is finally getting up on his feet in boxing. Low blow by Bobby Chess. you got to get off. Duva in the corner of Bobby Chez, who usually looks to put the pressure on, keeps coming, relentless inside, but has not been allowed to do so by Hamshow. Hamshow's activity is too much for Bobby Chez right now. Again with the head, Hamshow with the head, but following all of those punches, Bobby looks a little rocky now, shooting that right hand out. He's not up. He's not electric. He doesn't have that tension and that fight that he usually has. In short, I am describing a fighter who is frozen. That is Bobby Chez Sr., who came leaping out of his seats a moment ago. Approaching 15 seconds remaining, round six, Mustafa Hancho in the red has had his way throughout. Mustafa Hancho and Bobby Chez scheduled for 10. Bobby Chez back in round five. Bumming Mustafa Hamsho and it affected Hamsho. He was able to work it out. And watch this as Chez was sent to the canvas, pushed down by Mustafa Hamsho. This similar to back in June of 1980, Clarkson, Michigan. As White Braxton, also known as White Muhammad Kwawi, gets set in his dressing room. He will defend his light heavyweight title by going up against Eddie Davis later on right here on NBC. Marv Albert with the Fight Doctor, Ferdy Pacheco, and Dick Enberg. We're live from Convention Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey. And this is round seven. Piece of uh, tape coming off the glove of Bobby Chez's left hand. Sooner or later, they're going to have to stop that to cut off that piece of tape. 
because that can flick into an eye and that can do damage as well as a thumb. Incidentally, one of the greatest reasons for the thumbless glove is what you just saw two rounds ago. How do you score it now? 3-2-1, and I've given it um, to Hamshow. It's quite unofficial. He may well be even further ahead. It may be a 4-2 fight if that even round was for Hamshow. Scoring is on the round system, and if the round is even, they go to the five-point must to break the deadlock. Well, if it was his plan to wait till the later rounds to apply pressure, now's his chance because he's got seven, eight, nine, and ten, and he better start doing something different. And Chess looking to go up on his toes. That's his fight. In and out, punching and moving. This is not his fight when he stands still. Referee Larry Hazard with a very difficult task with two rolling style fighters has handled it well. And it has not been, been nearly as bad as anticipated for the simple reason that Hamshow didn't need to maul and brawl. He has been punching cleanly. Domination by Chad. Oh! have been Chase's most effective punch of the evening. He stunned Hamshow after taking the hard shot. And another good left hand by Hamshow. It may have been his best punches. He took the best and he gave the best. Back to the movement that his corner wants. In and out. Fight. Oh, another one of those Scipion moves. Scipion being the victim, not the one that did the shoving. Setting up with the elbow to the left, the left hand. They want Chess to get out of the okay, corner. Let me have it out of there. Come on out. Bobby needs to punch. He cannot stand here. Hazard again. Watch the elbow. When Hampshire misses with a punch, the elbow follows as the night the day, and Bobby is getting hammered. The experience of the 29-year-old Hampshire dictating the play against 20-year-old Bobby Chez. You saw the deep breath by Chez as we go seven rounds complete. Good action in round seven as Hampshire delivers first the right, then the right on the glove and a tremendous left hand, but Chez able to rally back and he caught Hampshire with the left. Good counter by Chez. set to go up against third-ranked Eddie Davis, defending his WBC light heavyweight title for the third time. That's coming up later on right here on NBC. This is round eight. And Hapcho out strong to open up. Oh! Oh, that was everything. The round has been taken from Mustafa Hapcho. Larry Hazard has just taken that round because that was three or four fouls all at once. And curiously, he doesn't need it because he's way ahead and Chez needs a knockout to win. He's getting himself into such a hole he can't get out. And again, Chez back to the southpaw style. Bobby Chez coming in. 20-0, 15 by knockout, a local favorite in the New Jersey area, 